Lucy here from Jules Designs at JT Creations. So today what we're going to do, we're going to do some over the page pockets. So they don't fit on the page that way. They fit on the page at the top. So I'm just going to show you. So he's a, um, I've not fully stuck this in yet. So it's like that. And it has got a paper clip in it. Oops. And it goes on like that and then when you turn it around you on that one you've got a tuck spot on that one you've got a pocket um on this one there's a double pocket and on the other side there's a belly band so we'll put you have to be careful what's on the other side so we'll find a a page that's fine for this okay so we'll i would have put a smaller one on this one and that just fits in there and then you've got your belly band for I don't know tags um journal cards little book pockets little book, book pages tags whatever you want to put in or you can put a pocket on both sides so do is we'll start off so it's just a book page um any size of book page this one just happens to be i've trimmed it down um i've just took the edges off so this one's eight and a quarter by five and three eighths and all i do is i just tuck that in and tuck that in and then I fold it in half and that basically is my pocket so what I do with these is I do stick them down <clears throat> I have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a croaky voice this morning the air's been a little bit dry here in Cyprus okay and the only reason I do this is it just gives it a little bit more strength on the edges. And it really doesn't matter what the width is. This now makes it four and a half. But it depends on your pocket. I mean, the, the pocket, um, pocket, the page. The pages on my journal are six. So you can have them anything from... Well, you can have them right up to, I would say, six if you wanted, or five and three quarters, five, whatever. And it depends what paper you can use. Um, you can use digitals. On these, I prefer to use book pages. And then what I like to do is I like to get another book page. And of course, that's four and a half, so I'm just going to trim this down. This is in English. This is a, an old Victor Hugo um, book. This is a Russian book, so I'm just going to trim. Okay, so that just fits in because I don't want it to go right to the edge. Then what I do is I turn the top over. And again. I'll stick that down. Now that's the way it goes over the page. So I want my first pocket probably about there. And what I do is I just turn that up to there. Just make sure that the sides of the book pages are level. That way you get a, a straight crease. Then I bring that down like that. So there I've got my, my two pockets and I'm just, I am going to stitch these, uh, you don't have to, but I am going to stitch them. But what I want to do is I want to put a thumb notch in. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the edge of that pocket up to the edge of that pocket. And... 
can measure it and it's four and a quarter so that's two so that the, the middle's there and we'll see from our my circle punch it works on card but it's not that great with paper now i've lost my middle so that's worked and then i put that back down and i've got my two thumb notches perfect aligned okay so i'm just going to ink round and i'm not really bothered about getting ink on the page it doesn't matter it's got a bit of a water stain on this page so it just makes it that little bit more interesting and i'll ink and it's gathered twigs um i've used there now what i do have is i have some stencils they're not the greatest of stencils because they're for skin they were their their kids tattoo stencils and i've tried putting them on my trousers and getting the lint off and everything but they're still they're quite um quite strong in sticking and you can see because I've, I've ripped that one but i think there were 79 cents so i'm not really bothered <laughs> it's just i didn't bring any stencils with me and i'm using a, a makeup brush and gathered twigs i'm just doing some butterfly stencils you might find it'll stick no it's not it's behaving itself today and I'm just just doing some bits and pieces round doesn't really matter and again I'm just going over with gathered twigs um, on the other one I did do different colours but it doesn't really matter I'll do it that there And again, we'll just take that off there. You can see where it's stuck to the book page. Also, the book pages, you know, when they're um, a bit fragile. Um, so what we might do is we might do a different colour. Um, what have I got here? We've got saltwater taffy. So we'll do some pink ones on the top. And I'm not changing my makeup brush i'm just using the same sort of be a bit bit of gathered twig and a bit of salt water taffy does it really matter and we'll do that one that way So you can see where the, the, the gathered twigs started coming back in and we'll just do the edge of a butterfly here. And there you can just see it. And then that sticks on there. On this one, 
going to do um, a belly band. I'm going to do it in a digital. These are my wallpaper digitals. And I just want probably, because I'm going to fold it over. So we'll do it at two inches. I'm just going to trim two inches off. And I've just, um, on, the, on, on my trimmer, I've got like a bit of a scoreboard. It's in quarter inches. So I've just done quarter of an inch at each side. Just scored down it so I can fold it over. And use it. And that is four and one eighth. So because it's four and one eighth. So I need it there. I've just moved it slightly so it's four and one eighth and hopefully that will fit. It's a little bit smaller but I'm fine with it. And that one goes on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and I'm going to stitch round it because I'm not going to do it on, on camera. Um, my sewing machine I brought with me and it's just a little... I was asked if I use uh, just a normal sewing machine. I got it from Amazon. Yeah, it was £39. It, I can carry it about. It doesn't have the great... It does have... Um, zipper stitches if you want zipper stitches or buttonholes or whatever i'm not i'm not a seamstress so it's got the straight stitch it's got the like the hem the overlock stitches and it's got the zigzag stitches i use it without the foot it does have a foot with it and that's the reverse and it's quite easy um you know if you've never stitched before and you want to try it i would get one of these you can get pick them up second hand for about 15 pound Play with it. Um, you're not harming anything. Stitching paper, only a needle. And that's it. Yeah, I did do dressmaking years ago. I don't do it anymore. But again, as I said, I'm not a seamstress and I'm not an expert on, on sewing machines. So I'm going to go away and I'll see you in a bit when I've stitched around these. Because I've, I've made a couple. Um, I've done a couple. So I'm going to stitch around them all and then we'll we'll decorate them and we'll put them in the, the journal. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that's me back. So that's the two that we decorated there. So there's one um, with a pocket. There's another one with a pocket. And I've got a couple here. I'm just going to stick. I'm not going to put any pockets on them. Um, well, I've got two because I'll put pockets on both sides of them. So this one, <coughs> I am going to use Fabri-Tac. And what you have to remember is it goes that way. So that goes down there. And I just want to get a lot of wiggle room. So that's why it did that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that in there just to make sure that I've not okay and then we'll put the belly band on the back and I'll use that glitter glue for this one but not as good as fabric tack and I'm just guessing the middle there And there we have it. And I've got, I've got some I've just flicking that 
on there and I'm just going to put that there and we'll do with the gathered twigs. I'm just going to get the smaller one. Um, what did I do with that? There it is. I'm going to do it pink. And that's like the dandelion. And again, this brush has got um, brown on it from somewhere, so. And again, we'll just shove that under there. Now what I'll do is I'm going to put that one right down at the bottom. up and then I'm going to put that one on at an angle and let me see what else I've got. I've got some kitsch flamingo. We'll see what this one is like. And this one's a little bit more pinky. And again, it's just mixing in with whatever brown's been on the brush. Um, put that one there. So there we have our little pockets. Now, where's my... Um, Some little bits and pieces to go in so this we've got some got a couple of big tags and we've got a bit of a what did I do with it? Got a big bumblebee tag there, and um, ah, we've got our little circle pocket. So this has got little bits to go in as well. Um, so we'll put that there. So we've got that one. So we'll do that. Put these. Well, my machine is anyway. I have to alter the tension and things like that to get it right. But we'll do another pocket. On that side. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some notch in. If you want to get the, the, the middle, just put the two corners together, nip it. And you've got the middle. <clears throat> so again, and I'm just going to make it. So we need to stick this one down first. I'm not using um, Fabri-Tac for that. I'm going to use glue stick. And glue stick on 
that one and then that glitter glue and you can use bits of digitals um, can use fussy cuts, anything to to decorate them. I think I've got some fussy cuts. Just, this is vellum. Um, so I'm just putting a tiny little dot. And this is one of the fussy cuts that um, so that you can use your um, cutting machines to cut them out. And then I'll put that there. There's a little buddy bee. Um, love the flower. In fact, we'll have the vellum flower underneath, like as a shadow. And I'll just offset this. And these are just die cuts that I've had for a, a few years. Um, so I've not got them in the packaging, so I don't even know. This one could be one of the Elizabeth Spellbinders dies. I, I, I don't know. Some of them I know that they're Spellbinders because the, the dies are copper coloured. So I know that the, the copper coloured dies are Spellbinders, but when they, they come in silver, um. I haven't got a clue. And we'll put the butterfly there. Yeah, see that's too big. Um, so we've got that one. Uh, put that one there. Again, I'm just gonna I'm just centering it and that one's got the the raggy bits on it um, I'm going to put some washi tape I think And this I've just got, I just got from Yumbo in Paphos in Cyprus. We went shopping last week, so. And I want some gold butterflies. Let me have a look. What I might do is I might do some gold cool butterflies at the bottom of this one. And I'm just turning that out. The, this washi tape is quite good. Um, and we have a smaller pocket here. 
one and just okay so that's that one so we've got pocket there pocket there pocket there pocket there so we've got three, one with a belly band, so just give me two seconds. So that one's got its bits and pieces in this one we need. Um, I'm going to use this, this is from the B kit, this is an envelope. Um, so, or a paper bag, whichever you want it, or seed pocket or whatever. So I'm just putting a thin line down the edge of that. We've got some little tags here. I think we need ink dry. I think that's probably too big. Yeah. It's one of the envelopes. Um, so I think we'll have some circle tags in that one. Um, I'm going to put this, no I'm not going to put a flower on, we've finished doing that. Um, what I do want to do is I want to put a, one of these on the edge. And what I'm going to do with these tags first, these were just boot page tags that I was making. Um, What else have we got? I've got some more tags and bits and pieces. I've got some guest checks. Um, these are a freebie on my um, coffee site. Guest checks and tickets. That one's a belly band. It's a bit too big. Got another little envelope. We've got an envelope here. Um, I'm just gluing this together and um, this is a, a new digital that I'm doing and it's the essentials digital so it's gingham lace and dots so we've got houndstooth spots and damask so we'll do And again, I would have ink, I would have um, printed on the other side, but I didn't have time. So I think that's it. So now what we want is we want the inside so that it clips. Um, it's 
this one that I'm going to put this on. And these are just tabs and I like having tabs on, on these type of pockets. Um, Okay, so that's that one. We've got some more. And these are, again, they're just die cuts that I brought with me. So that's that one. Um, well, glue's gone through the, the stitching. <laughs> so be careful of that, the glue goes through the stitching. I've got a tab on that one. Oh, come on. Okay. And then we've just got a plain and we'll put this one on the the bumblebee side again. Because it's pearlized card, it takes a while to stick. Okay. Right, so to do the mechanism, what I usually do is I get cereal box and a cheap pack of paper clips. Now these paper clips have um, they've got a bump up. I don't like those ones. So all I'm just going to do is I'm just going to measure that, fold it in half. the corners and then what I do is I put the paper clip on <clears throat> now I can straighten that with a hammer because they're only um they're not stainless steel, they're galvanised, whatever, so they, they bend quite easy, you can manipulate them. So what I do is I get my glue on this side and I go, be careful to go right down the, the very edges. And inside the paper clip. And I open my and I just put it down as straight as I can. Make sure that it, it's okay with that. And what I do is, again, round the very edges. You need to make sure that the edges of the cardboard are sticking to the, the paper. Because it's this bit that's going to grip your, your page. 
if you want, if you don't want to make them as small as this, you can make them bigger, you know, you can have a bigger piece of cardboard. But that's all I do. So we've done that one. And these are an inch. So you, I just use two inches. So if I cut that in half like that. It's just easier if the edges are rounded for it, it doesn't catch when you put it on the, the boot page. And again, I just use a hammer and straighten that bit out. And I put the, the glossy side inside. I do it so that because this bit's easier to glue. And again. You don't have to do this you can have your paper clip outside or you can just let it rest over the page um i always think if you put it's like doing a hidden paper clip you know you can do little bits and pieces and you can have little dangles from them if they're not hidden that way and then Turn it over, or you can do it the way I did it the first time. Turn it over. Careful not to put too much glue because it'll seep over and it'll stick your two pages together. So do be careful. Um, and then I just them like that and again open that up Again, so like I said, you can you know, just make sure that you know where your, your crease is so that you don't go over it. And that it's straight on your crease. That's flowing better now. It wasn't flowing on the last one, it's flowing on this one. And there we are. And so we have it some over the page board. So, oh. so this is the, the bee journal. Um, I've just put the pages in and no more. So what you would do is you just Why is that not going in there? No, it's because it wasn't stuck properly. And there we are. And 
you don't have to have them on every page you don't have to you can have one or two um i would wait till the the glue down properly before you stuck them in but i'm just showing you um so that you can see uh, how they look but that's they're still not stuck yet so that's how it would look and then when you turn your page you've got your pockets there so i hope you get something from that i hope you have a go they are quite easy you can make them with anything you can make them with um digital scrapbook papers all sorts uh, you don't have to have that one stuck down see it just when it when the when the, me when the mechanism is stuck um, inside to the paper, they go right. They go over no problem, and then you put them over. So again, it's another pocket that balances out your journal because one of the things that I do find is all your pockets kind of go here and here, and then this part of your journal's kind of squished. So that's why I do the corner pockets, and. I do these over the page pockets so again it balances your journal out and again you can have them on every page you can have them on every other page you can have one to the journal you don't even have to have them in your journal you can have them quite big you can have them small it's entirely up to you you choose your size um, and it's what suits you there's no rules and regulations to these it's what you like and what you want to do with them. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.